This video will guide you through a logical troubleshooting procedure for a faulty pressure switch on the gas furnace simulator. To begin, click on the start button on the phone. Next, we need to go to the thermostat to make the thermostat call for heat. Click on the thermostat icon at the bottom left of the page. Next, click the system selector switch on the thermostat. This will not only turn the thermostat to heat mode, but will also turn the temperature setting of the thermostat up. Next, we will proceed to the furnace by clicking on the furnace icon at the bottom of the page. Once at the furnace, we need to observe the sequence of operations. On this gas furnace, beginning with the call for heat from the thermostat, the inducer motor should start. We can hear that the inducer motor is operating. The inducer motor provides combustion air for the gas furnace. Remove the doors from the furnace. Once you've done this, you will need to tape in the door switch on the furnace. The door switch provides an important safety feature by disconnecting power to the furnace when the covers are removed. Tape the switch in. Based on our observation that the inducer is operating, we can now conclude we either have a faulty pressure switch, a faulty igniter, a faulty IFC which sends 120 volts to the igniter, or maybe just a simple loose electrical connection somewhere. To help guide you through a logical procedure, click on the troubleshooting flowchart icon at the top left of the page. If we move down the chart, we can see there is a question that asks, is the inducer fan running? Well, yes it is. We can see this from the graphic. Our next step would be to measure for zero volts across the pressure switch terminals. A measurement of zero volts across this pressure switch shows no difference in potential across the pressure switch and verifies that the pressure switch is closed. An open pressure switch would produce a voltage reading of 24 volts. Next, let's go to the toolbox by clicking on the tool icon at the left of the page and we're going to take out the multimeter or digital volt ohm meter. Turn the selector dial to AC volts, place one of the leads on one of the glowing hotspots on the pressure switch and place the remaining lead on the other glowing hotspot on the pressure switch. Based on this, we can see we have a reading of 24 volts across the pressure switch. This indicates that the pressure switch is open. With an open pressure switch, the gas furnace will not cycle into an ignition trial. We'll put the meter back in the toolbox and concentrate on the pressure switch. Prior to replacing the pressure switch, it is extremely important that the technician verify proper vent sizing and design as well as look for any obstructions to airflow to the furnace. Assuming that we verified that the vent is properly sized and designed and that there are no airflow obstructions, we can now replace the pressure switch. This can be done by clicking on the pressure switch and clicking replace. The repair summary states that this will cost the customer a total of $180. We do wish to proceed at this point. And as we can see, this corrects the problem. Just to repeat, it is very important that prior to replacing the pressure switch, we verify proper vent design and sizing. Now that we've found and corrected the problem, we need to untape the door switch, click the door switch and remove tape, Replace the covers to the unit, and last but not least, click on the broom to clean the work area. Good luck.